Welcome again. We are back on Arch Labs on a virtual machine, but actually we are on, on Arch Labs. And we have here something to tell you. We're talking about themes, icons. What do we get when we install Arch Labs? Later on, we'll customize it with our own icons, but uh, well, well, you see when we go full screen, then it's not centered anymore and icons at the conky here is not uh, at the right place but that doesn't matter i can fix it of course but we're going to talk about right mouse click preferences there is an open box we should remember that we are actually working on arch linux with a desktop environment that's called open box so this is the main thing we'll have to go all the time there is this graphic user interface configuration tool which we have to remind let's open that one let's maybe open everything we have preferences alex appearance mm -hmm. all right mouse click again and everything that's related to xfce so it's a combination open box is a combination of Arch labs a combination of XFCE elements, open box elements, and we have to remember to we have three programs, there's even a fourth one, to really set everything the way we want it to be. Uniformity. We have here open box configuration manager, right mouse click. This is black. Why is this black? Because we've chosen here some of these elements. Yeah, still black burn some blue dark dark still dark this is clear so this is white so if you want a white menu you really should go inside the open box configuration manager and choose your theme but you'll see that other things will change as well so depending on the theme elements of your arch lab will change okay fine so we have this open box configuration manager we choose we can choose our theme and then we get an appearance maybe these elements up here we can change just read it n is the window icon one d is omnipresent meaning if we click on it and we scroll to the second desktop it's still there so it's kind of pinned everywhere s is shade or roll up we go in this bar here and we scroll up scroll down scroll up scroll down so that's shading and the L L is the label meaning it's the name and then we have the rest I don't have to explain to you so it's minimize and then maximize and close so these are the things to look out for back to desktop one and then we have the customized look and feel, which is um, Alex appearance as program about. And we can set as well here anything we like. Let's open up Tunar. That's not Tunar, Eric. Let's open up Tunar. And if we change things, you see them change from time to time, depending what elements are open. And we can change color, the icon theme here as well. We have to apply it in order to see it. But remember, some of the elements do not change. If we have, um, there's, depending on the program that you're using, like this one, for instance, which is also a file manager, PC MAN FM, if we change elements, some of them might change and other ones will not change. You see nothing changes here. Running it again, nothing changes. We can change a mouse cursor here, the window border. We can change that as well if we apply it. Aha, this changes here as well, but active and not active, inactive and active, blackish, apply. So depending on what you're looking for it's in either of these three elements the title bar fonts and sizes it's all in here and then there's another one you might want to remember 
that's the QT config is QT4 config, QT config of this one. But you only have to go into this one for once. So that's also a configuration element and it's set correctly. It should go to GTK plus, which is just fine. It's already done. But maybe you want to change the font in here. Size a bit bigger, the style different, another font. So that's in here you change it. Some of the programs that are using QT will uh, apply then your settings. You just have to save it up here and then it's done forever. You can you only, normally you only have to change it once to the font you like and that's it. So those are all the elements. There are no more elements, no more surprises. It's all in here. Let's go over them one more time. So you go to the open box, to the GUI configuration tool, check it out everything inside there. You check out an, anything in LX appearance, anything in XFCE appearance. This is something else. This is talking about the panel and that's done in another tutorial. So if you want to change this look, then you should check out this one. That's all for this tutorial.